time now for the executive edge and some interesting Elon Musk who's always interesting his boring company is selling a fragrance yep you heard that right a fragrance called burnt hair Musk tweeting last night with a name like mine getting to the fragrance business was inevitable the perfume cost hundred dollars and is available on the yeah, Boring I Company website. I can't believe we took the bait. Website. Yeah, we, he, we, we took the, bait, took the because bait because his next, his next text after that, or his next tweet after that was, just wait for the countdown for the media doing stories on this. Right. On so here we are. So we are we not, bait. though, going to talk about this Ian Bremmer situation? That was I bizarre. didn't understand that. What happened? Ian Bremmer said he I, talked to Putin. So and Ian Bremmer said he didn't talk to so Putin. So Ian Bremmer said, writes a note. Said, said that, yeah, Ian Bremmer writes a note. He, he does a newsletter every week, a paid he newsletter to subscribers. Said Elon told him he said that Elon, Elon told him that he had talked to Putin and that they had all, that uh, that he explained this whole sort of strategy about how to walk, you know, deal with Ukraine and what would be needed to get to a, a settlement and whatnot. And he wrote that. Elon Musk came back and said, no, he, "He said nobody should trust." He didn't actually say it was wrong. He just said. Don't trust Bremer. No trust I thought he said I hadn't well, spoken to Putin first for 18 he said, right. months. First, he said uh, I hadn't talked to uh, Putin for 18 months, which seemed to make it seem like, well, that he couldn't have said any of this. And then Bremer came back and said, Elon told me this. I wrote, I wrote this because Elon told me this. This is how we... And then, and then Elon responded to that and said, don't trust Bremer. So either there's like four options. Either Elon Musk... Uh, is, well, he's either he could be lying and, uh, about that he did talk to Putin. And now right. he says he does didn't want to talk right. to Putin. He could have he could have lied to to um, to Bremer. Yeah. That's possible. Bremer could have lied. Yep. Or there could have been a misunderstanding. I mean, sort of my my good faith view of this is that everything got conflated, and maybe Musk said, you know, I talked to Putin. Maybe he doesn't say exactly when he's, and yeah. then somehow starts talking about Ukraine, right. and it all seems like it all happened. I talked to him, and I think this would be that's the case. Of, that's, that's what I'm right. right. So yes, it's 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 one of uh, there's four doors, and you could pick one. This that's morning, the one I was I think. hoping on too. And there's probably at least four outcomes with this war, and, and I can certainly see how someone might want it if there was a way of ending it right now. With maybe a couple of things, it'd be nice if we could do that so the A word gets out of our lexicon again forever. The Armageddon word, it'd be nice. I mean, are we really talking about these things? I think we are. Well, I wish we weren't. I agree. And it'd be nice if, it's you know. He's not work, though. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.